Hey guys, today I'm going to do a quick review of the Ring Chime. Um, if you have um, a Ring doorbell, this uh, Ring Chime is a, a great accessory to have. Uh, you just plug it into any power outlet in the house and you get um, Ring uh, notifications. Um, not only get you, you get notifications when somebody rings your bell, but um, also um, when uh, there is uh, motion, motion detection. So what do you get in the box? Um, you get the <coughs> chime itself, which comes with a UK uh, plug and a European plug. <coughs> of course, this is the European model anyway. Um, <coughs> you get user manual in different languages. You get English, German, uh, French, and um, looks like uh, Spanish. Um, yeah, and you're also getting this protected by ring sticker, which is a great um, great thing to to put on your uh, front door window, which um, can deter. Um, would be burglars. So how do you set it up? Um, you get into the Ring app and then you do a setup device. I've already uh, set it up here but you go setup device choose chime from uh, the list plug the chime in into uh, socket Let's just do it here. Um, it's going to this where it says ring is going to start glowing. Um, can't really see during the day, but anyway. <coughs> so just continue here. Select where you want it to be. Confirm location. and then wait for the ring logo to pull to pulse slowly as it shows here um, and then you press continue and it should um, well um, it may not work exactly the way I want because I've already got it set up so the app may uh, may not uh, detect it as a new okay it says is it pulse parsing slowly? Yeah. Uh, but anyway, um, it's very, it's a very, very simple process. Um, what I'll do, I'll just go back because, as I said, I've already got it set up. So all you have to do is, you, so your phone will disconnect from the Wi-Fi. Um, it will connect to. The Wi-Fi of the um, chime itself, and then it will um, ask um, detect all the wireless networks around your house. You choose your own one, and then just put um, the um, Wi-Fi uh, um, password. So, um, and that is all. It will connect, and then when somebody rings your your um, your bell I'll go back into to here let me go out go into the settings of my ring device health it shows good network name last health check firmware and the MAC address link devices so I have ring alerts checked and I also have motion alerts checked so if there's a motion alert uh, I will I will get a notification um, on the, the chime and there's there's a list of um, chime tones I don't particularly like some of them like these bats one ghosts scream really uh, some of them are I, I think in my opinion is poor choice but um, there are some good ones so I just left the default one go into the motion and then I um, uh, left the default motion one. I'll test it. You can hear it. That's come from the chime itself. 
also go into uh, rings, test the sound. It's quite loud. You can set the volume here as well. I've set it to the maximum, but uh, you can set it to whatever suits you. And um, yeah, that's uh, that's it. I'm going to to do a test with um, uh, by uh, by just uh, ringing my uh, doorbell. I'm just going to go into the front of my uh, ring uh, to uh, just um, uh, set the uh, motion detection in, in um, and then um, after that I will just press the uh, ring um, doorbell button. So as you can see, both of them, um, also the, the motion detection and the um, ring alert um, were uh, detected by the chime and um, I got a notification. So um, yeah, it um, the, as I said in the beginning, this is a well worth the accessories, not very expensive and if you have a ring uh, doorbell, um, this is uh, really something that you should consider. Thank you very much for watching.